All right, party people, this is how we do um, algebra one, A2, absolute value and opposites. First off, let's practice with opposites. If I say up, Louis, you would say? Louis, up, what's the opposite of up? I'm lagging. Yeah, what's the opposite of up, Louis? Down, perfect. Mrs. Simonian, if I say left, you say? Right. If I say on, Ellie, you say? Um, I don't know. Yes, you do. What's the opposite of on? Off. Perfect. So if I say positive, you would say what, Mike? Mike, what's the opposite of positive? Negative. Awesome. So right here, when I say, what is the opposite, or what is the absolute value? I'm kind of talking about opposite stuff, okay? So that's why we have to go through that. Let me draw on my board for a second. So absolute value is talking about the distance from zero. So on this number line, okay, I have negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five, negative six, okay? So if I am here at negative six, what number on my number line is also the same distance away from zero as negative six? Anybody have any ideas? What? Six. Six. And that's perfect. Now, why are these two? like related here. Well, absolute value is talking about distance away from zero. So six is one, or negative six is one, two, three, four, five, six units away from zero. And six is one, two, three, four, five, six units away from zero. So that's why the absolute value is talking about what is the distance, all right, what is the distance from zero to negative six, and that's why it's six, okay? But notice we have two answers. So if I type in six, that's right. Now the easiest way to think of this is absolute value is just the positive version of my number. So what is the absolute value of two? Well, the absolute value of two is just talking about what is the positive value of two. So I just drop all the signs, it's just two. All right, let's go with Kimmy. What is the absolute value of negative three? What do you think? So Kimmy, if you were to drop the sign, for negative three, what would it be? Oh, come on, you can do it. What about Eva? What is the absolute value of negative three? Um, positive three. Positive three. All right, this one's super easy. Everybody should volunteer for this one. What is the opposite of negative five? Five. Five. That's so easy, right? Nope. Now, what is the absolute value of five? Okay, well, the absolute value of five, it's just 
five. Five is five units away from zero. Who thinks they got this one? Chucky, what do you think? One. One. All right, what's the absolute value of four fifths? Who wants to take a shot at that? Uh, Katie, do you think you could tell me what the absolute value of four fifths is? I know it's a fraction and it's scary, but it's quite easy. Like just four fifths, I don't know. That's it. No, you're right. It is just four fifths. What's the absolute value of negative eight? Grace. So if I were to drop the sign of negative eight, what would it, what would I be left with? No bueno? Eight? Harmon? Yeah? We have someone who is asking to be emailed the link for the Zoom. Uh, they were, um, it's Patricia Rocks. They emailed Kimberly. Oh. And I didn't think Grace was here, is she? She might not be. All right, let me finish this and then I'll email them the link to the Zoom. Kimberly, can you tell uh, Patricia that? All right, so the absolute value of negative eight is eight. What is the absolute value of 11 over 20? Let's go with Cody. Just 11 20th. That's it. Easy, right? Yep. What's the absolute value of negative 2.4? Olivia? 2.4. Yep. Do you guys feel like you're OK with this? I think you guys can do this, so I'm going to 